Hi, everyone. I'm Sam Kronick, one of our engineering leaders here at Retool. I'm excited to share some big news about our collaboration story. Uh, we use Retool for all sorts of things here within Retool ourselves. Everything from tracking support tickets to managing engineering incidents, uh, building our product roadmap, or tracking deals as they move through the sales pipeline. Uh, just about everybody in the company is a Retool builder of some sort, whether that's building applications from the ground up from scratch, or just tweaking an existing app to customize it to meet their particular needs. Now, with so many builders internally, it's, it's really exciting and empowering because we're rarely waiting for uh, some other team to unblock us and, and build an app for us. We can just kind of jump in and do it. But we have really wide open edit permissions and access controls, uh, which means we have to be also very careful and coordinate our work to make sure that we don't step on our, each other's toes or, or inadvertently break something for someone else. So um, Jess and I know this pain firsthand. I, I went back into my Slack archive and I found this snippet from one of our first conversations together. Uh, I was just instantly taking a look at an app I probably had no business in, but I was really curious how Jess had built out this, this one SQL query. Uh, and I wound up stopping her from getting her work done, actually causing a pretty big problem here. So maybe you've had a similar experience with Retool or some other cloud-based apps. Uh, this is this has just kind of the, been the state of the world for a long time. So in the past, to actually enable any sort of wide-reaching cross-team collaboration, it's involved a lot of you know copying apps, sending links and and screenshots back and forth. Uh, you know, there's always been workarounds to, to this sort of collaboration collaboration problem, but it's never really been the experience that we've we really truly wanted to enable for you. So today, all of that changes with the introduction of our multiplayer editing feature. Uh, with multiplayer editing, we're about to make uh, working in real time with your team, uh, editing apps, a, a, a real cinch. So let's jump back into that app, and I'm going to show you what we're talking about. So this app is looking pretty good. Um, we've got a lot of things that we need in here, but we don't have a way to add customers, uh, add new customers to this. So let's jump over into edit mode and I'll show you show you what we've got going on. Uh, well, you'll notice a couple things right away that are new. Uh, we can see that Jess is also here uh, editing this app as well. And now we get to see exactly what component she's editing at this moment. So she's still working on that search and filter bar there, uh, which, which is great because I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, add a new component onto the canvas here. We're going to create a modal and drop this in right here. Now, uh, Jess, meanwhile, is, is seeing my updates come over in, in real time in her editor. And similarly, as she make cha makes changes down here now on the table, uh, I'm going to get those streamed to my editor as well. So let's go ahead and change this and say we want to add a new customer. And I'm going to pop open this modal here. And uh, Retool is, is really just syncing kind of the source code behind this app, not our UI state or anything. So we can kind of work in parallel. And the deeper I get into building my part of this app, uh, I may may not even notice Jess is here anymore for a second. So let's go ahead and build this form and I can uh, build without, without any barriers here. I'm gonna generate a form from the data we've got. Uh, let's see, from the data table here. We gotta change a couple of things, contact name and that one. Okay, let's go ahead and generate this form. All right, great. Um, now, I can also invite Jess in to say, hey, why don't you come over and actually help me style this form? And what Retool is going to do is uh, merge our changes seamlessly. So we really don't block each other or, or break anything as we do this. Uh, so there I can see Jess has updated the title. Uh, that's fantastic. Meanwhile, I'm going to go in here. I don't know. This is pulling from my uh, table right now. Let's get rid of that because this is a new customer form. Um, Jess should see those changes reflected on her end as well. Uh, she's going to go ahead and style this and, and add some options here. Um, oh, cool. I can see those coming in. Oh, maybe those are the wrong options. Oh, those are the right options. Fantastic. Thanks, Jess. And um, I'll go ahead and wire up the submit button here. So let's trigger a new query. And I jump right over here to my query editor. Now, I'll go ahead and set up this query. Uh, but I'm not exactly sure how this is supposed to be set up. I'll, I'll give it a shot. And then if I'm having some trouble, maybe Jess can come in and help me here too. 
So we're going to insert a record and let's do this form one data. Let's just take that suggestion right away and see what happens. And we're going to hit save and run. And okay, we've got some error here that uh, I don't quite know how to fix, but maybe Jess can come over here and help me out. So if I say, oh, there she pops in, um, we can see that Jess is also editing this. So even in the code editor here, I can see where my collaborators are. And uh, just as I had hoped, uh, we've got new changes to this query. So I can go ahead and refresh that right here. And Jess has updated this with the exact logic that we need to make this query run. So there you have it. Um, we've built this app together. We've added a, a new feature uh, by collaborating with each other. And uh, that was really, really pretty straightforward. So maybe you want to get your hands on this new feature. Um, what do you need to do? Well, um, we're excited to announce today the, uh, the launch of our private beta for this multiplayer editing feature, uh, which means if you go to the link on screen right now or, or in, in the chat, uh, you can sign up to get early access to, uh, to this feature. So um, great, uh, I think, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, we, we can't wait for you to, to give it a try and give us feedback on how you like it. Um, with that, I'm going to hand you over to Eva to share some of the latest on some more advanced collaboration features with source control.